What's up guys, it's BD Mike. My name is Mike and I love me. Fire up your smokers because today we are cooking some emu kebabs. Let's do it. Well, this is an odd setup, isn't it? We have a bag of prepared vegetables that have been marinating. We have a bag of some honey garlic marinated with our emu kebabs, but why are we starting right here, you ask? One of my cameras stopped recording after we already started preparing everything. This camera, you're a naughty little girl, you. And it's a shame because it actually started off really great. Well, we have some beautiful, colorful vegetables and some lean, tender, delicious. Look at that, no silver skin, no nothing. Emu drum steaks. The cut of these drums are from the leg of the emu, one of the most tender cuts from the animal. On my channel not too long ago, I did some ostrich meatballs, so I had to call his cousin in and make some emu kebabs. So let's get started. And start we did, but finish we did not. But I am going to talk you through what I did to get to this point. So I had two yellow bell peppers that I cut up and squared up. I did the same thing with two red bell peppers. I also cut up and squared up one purple onion. I had a package of whole baby bellas and dumped them right into this bag. From there, I just added a quarter cup of olive oil and about two or three tablespoons of some Ring the Bell rub and seasoning from the Southwestern Grill or get some good extra kick of some pepper, some salt, and some onion flavor to our vegetables. Put those to the side and then we got to our beautiful, beautiful lean emu jump steaks. I cut those in about an inch, inch and a half square cubes to use for our kebabs. For our marinade for our emu, we have about three quarters of a cup of some coconut aminos. You can go with regular soy sauce, but this is going to give a great flavor to our kebabs. I also mixed in about a third of a cup of olive oil, three tablespoons of minced garlic, and then we just squeezed in and eyeball a good amount of honey. I would say about three tablespoons. We put them in the fridge for about four hours. You can go overnight, but I did about four hours. And here we are back here, a little bit different start, but hey, adversity, adapt, overcome. If it was something like pork or chicken, I probably would have just reshot the first part of the video, but I don't get my hands on emu very often. You just gotta roll the punches, baby. So now we can get to making our kebabs. We're gonna open up both of them. I got some metal skewers. You can use some wooden bamboo skewers if you want. Do whatever you gotta do. Got some nice, oh, beautiful, smells so good. We'll go one emu, pepper, Onion, mushroom, repeat, emu, pepper, shroom, repeat. And we're just gonna do this all down our kebabs. Get some good colors, some purples, some reds, some yellows, some browns. Man, these are gonna be so flavorful. That honey garlic marinade, it's going right out my nostrils. Oh, Jesus. Onion down. All right, and that about does it for our kebabs. This is what you're looking for. I'll probably get another skewer or two, so we're gonna run right through these skewers. All right, and that does it. We got three beautiful kebabs. I'll take it. These are ready. Let's go pop them on the smoker. All right, y'all, we got the Po Man Grill rolling at 250 degrees. I have a mixture of cherry and pecan wood rolling for this smoke. I'm fueling up the Po Man with some Jealous Devil Max Extra Large Briquettes. Gonna cook up these kebabs real good. Emu is pretty lean and we're only going to cook these kebabs for about an hour, hour and a half. If you're looking at an internal temp, you want your emu to at least be at 150. 
that's it y'all it's pretty easy we're just gonna let the pole man go to work and in an hour hour and a half we'll pull off our kebabs and we'll eat and with that our honey garlic emu kebabs are complete we pulled them off the smoker right at the hour and a half mark we're right over that 150 internal temp with our emu we have some great color on the kebabs they smell awesome we're diving right in pull off one of our pieces of emu at the end cut right into it nice little smoke ring we still have some juices going a good internal temp for our emu now we just got to take a taste Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. That honey garlic marinade that we have on this emu is really, really good. There's a good smoky flavor. It's nice and juicy and tender. Get some peppers. Mm-hmm. Something special again. Right there. Beautiful color. Pink center in our emu. Keeps it nice and tender, nice and smoky. Hey, we might have got off to a rocky start at the beginning, but we finished strong, and that's what matters. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That rub from the Southwestern Griller really adds a good flavor to these vegetables. Mm -hmm. This drum fillet from that leg, oh man, look at me, talking with my mouth full. Do yourself a favor, if you can get your hands on some emu, it's definitely a meat worth trying. You put them on skewers, put some honey garlic marinade on them, throw them in the smoker. Game over, baby. Game over. So get yourself some emu. Put them on your smoker with some kebabs. You're going to love them. Stay tuned for the next video.